I have a broad range litigation, tort litigation practice at BLG. My clients are mainly large institutions, but particularly public institutions. I was attracted to this kind of work uh, because of the variety. I have had the opportunity to do inquests, to be before the Human Rights Tribunal, to argue uh, civil cases at trial and at the Court of Appeal. And the most fascinating thing about what I do is there are public policy ramifications for the institutions with the results of each case. So you have to be very focused on the client, protecting the client, and of your efforts uh, to defend them in a way that is acceptable to the public and that also gives you the opportunity to ensure that your client's interests are addressed. I think by the very virtue or the nature of the work that I do, it's important that you're a relationship builder. Litigation is inherently adversarial, but when you're defending a public institution, the relationships last beyond the litigation, the relationships between the parties. The parties have to have trust and faith in the institutions that serve them, and so you can't approach litigation in a bullheaded or uh, totally adversarial manner. You need to build relationships, and I try and do that through getting to know parties through mediation, building relationships with counsel involved, and making sure that uh, in the end the defense is credible and it's acceptable in the court of public opinion. I think the best example of the team approach to my practice is really um, not necessarily in that we have many lawyers on one file. Uh, many of us carry our own files individually. However, because we are representing large institutional defendants, we have to make sure that we have a consistent approach to the defense work that we are doing. So we need to talk to each other. We run around to our each other's offices and we run things by each other. And that kind of office collegiality and collaboration is very important in the, in the type of practice that we have. And in the same vein, it's also incredibly important that we are very engaged with our clients because the effect of a result in one case can go on to have ramifications for future cases. So it requires constant engagement with very sophisticated clients and making sure that they are content with the approach that's being taken. The important piece of advice I received from a mentor is that make decisions about what you want your family to look like and everything else will come. And that was told to me by uh, a very good friend of mine and mentor, Cheryl Wooden, who's the regional leader of our class actions practice. She has three children, and now I have three children. But that was really good advice. In terms of my pro bono and community involvement, uh, there are two things I'm very engaged with or have been over the years. Uh, the first is the uh, Give a Day campaign in the legal community. Uh, Give a Day encourages lawyers um, and other members of the community to give one day's pay on December 1st, which is World AIDS Day, in support of either the Stephen Lewis Foundation or Dignitas International. And both the Stephen Lewis Foundation and Dignitas work very closely with grassroots organizations in sub-Saharan Africa in the fight against the HIV AIDS pa pandemic. Secondly, uh, I am very avidly involved in the American Bar Association. And uh, I am a member of the tort trial and insurance practice section, and within, as a result of my involvement, I've, I've obtained leadership positions and am a chair, uh, incoming chair of a committee. And uh, through that, we provide community continuing legal education for um, lawyers across the U.S. and Canada and internationally. And uh, it's also been an amazing marketing opportunity for myself uh, and has resulted in some business generation for the firm as well, which has been great.